Hey Butterflies, it's your girl Pam and I am taping. Uh, I guess you guys will see this on Tuesday and I will already be in Jamaica. <laughs> so I wanted to hop on here and give you guys um, a little bit of stuff before I left um, so therefore you wouldn't miss me. Um, I just want to try to be as consistent as I possibly can. So this is for you. Uh, I wanted to kind of show you guys, and I'm going to, it's it's not going to show, but I'm going to insert a picture. Um, one of my coworkers who has turned out to be such a wonderful, wonderful friend of mine, um, her son Elijah has been diagnosed with epilepsy. And um, my whole team at my job got together to surprise her and um, it says, let's see if I can let you guys see it. It says epilepsy messed with the wrong kid. And then on the back it says Team Elijah. So I'll insert a picture. All right, so, you know, I am on my way to Jamaica. I am getting myself together. Um, got the haircuts, got the color, the gray is gone. <laughs> and um, I'm getting excited. I talked to my good friend, Michelle, and she's excited. She's coming in from Dallas, and then we'll take the connecting flight for her, but the straight flight for me from Atlanta into Montego Bay. So um, today I wanted to just come and talk to you guys about Mother's Day and what it means. Um, you know, I lost my mom about 13 years ago. Oh, no, 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 15 years ago. And my mother was the air in my body. Um, we were probably a little too coke dependent on each other. Um, but after my father died, it was just me and her. I'm an only child or raised as an only child. I have siblings um, that were much older than I was. Um, I think the baby was 29 when I was born. So um, all my nieces and nephews are older than me. And I think I told you guys, but my dad was 63 when I was born. <laughs> I was a before Viagra baby. Um, so... Mother's Day is still special to me, even though I don't have my mother. Um, and so what I wanted to do is just jump on here really, really quick. I know this is going to come after Mother's Day, but I want you guys, um, because I, I don't think it has to be a special day. If you are estranged from your mother, or even if you're not, call her. Pause this. I'm fine with it. Pause it. And go call your mom and just tell her how much you love her. Because um, I can't hug mine anymore. I can't call her on the phone. Nobody's going to answer. I can't call her with exciting news. Or for that matter, bad news. Um, so I just want people who have their mothers in their lives to... Just hold their neck real, real tight and love on them as much as you can. You hear the dogs. I think one of the kids is coming home. But um, it's imperative that regardless if there is a situation that's going on in your life with your mom, that maybe she did you wrong. I don't know. Maybe you did her wrong. I don't know that either. But what I tell you, you only get one. There is no do-overs when they they take their last breath. So I tell my, my kids all the time, don't go chasing after my casket or, like imitation of life. <laughs> if you ain't do me do me right when I was here, don't don't be trying to make up for it after I took my last breath. So um I just I don't know. I, I for some reason in my spirit, somebody just needed to hear that. I God knows I love my mama more than life itself. And um there's nothing I wouldn't do other than my kids. Honestly, there's nothing I wouldn't give up. My house, my car, 
just to lay in her lap one more time, just for her to tell me everything is going to be all right. So I'm just encouraging you guys. Um, I hope each and every one of you had a wonderful Mother's Day. Um, I just wanted to to tell you guys that as we speak, I'm enjoying the beautiful beaches of Jamaica and Yaman. <laughs> I just want you guys to know that I love you all. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, make sure that you hit the bell to let you know exactly when I upload a new video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. And until next time, butterflies, love you.